And so in the golden age, blacken with each step you take in my hall, marvel at perfection, for it is fleeting. You have brought sin to heaven and doom upon all the world. Canticle of Threnodies 813. The Chantry teaches us that it is the hubris of men which brought the darkspawn into our world. The mages had sought to usurp heaven, but instead, they destroyed it. They were cast out, twisted and cursed by their own corruption. They returned as monsters, the first of the darkspawn. This dude has such a good voice. What's up, they Sky? They a blight upon the lands, unstoppable and relentless. Am I gonna be a dwarf? That's all up to you guys. The dwarven kingdoms were the first to fall, and from the deep roads, the dark spawn drove at us again and again until finally we neared annihilation. I guess I should have given seizure warning. I didn't realize there was so much flashing. Every race, warriors and mages, barbarians and kings, the Grey Warden sacrificed everything to stem the tide of darkness and prevail. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to reset TikTok. They'll start freaking out here soon. It has been four centuries since that victory, and we have kept our vigil. We have watched and waited for the Darkspawn to return. But those who once called us heroes have forgotten. We are few now, and our warnings have been ignored for too long. It may even be too late, for I have seen with my own eyes what lies on the horizon. Maker, help us all. All right. So, as I said, chat chooses. Are we male or female? Woo! I didn't mean to do that. Chat chooses everything. Male, female, what race, what class, what background. You name it. Slavo? All right, city elf it is. Uh, name. Oh, man. Uh, mm, oh, uh, the, uh, hmm. What's a good elfish name? Noodles? 
<laughs> Noodles. I mean, we could do noodles. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. Nope, nope. I got something better. Noodles. <laughs> Any other suggestions? <laughs> because I'm a 13-year-old. I'm not actually TikTok. Don't freak out. I'm 28. I turned 29 in a, like two weeks. Perfect. All right. All right. We 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 can do the noodles. Should we do the normal? Why TikTok? Why are you like this? Should we do like the normal spelling or one of my other spellings? Noodles. Nutles, Nutles. Oh, I guess that would be noodles. Something funny looking. Nope, can't put that. Nope. No, what? God, why are you doing this? Nope, I can only do funny looky. Uh, all right. We'll stick to the noodles. I like this one because it's funny. Funny Loki. That looks so weird for spelling. <laughs> yeah, you you get off uh, at work. I mean, off of work. Uh, I mean, that's weird. All right, noodles it is. Thanks. Uh, all right. Presets, uh, let's see. That's, a uh, Leilani's face. Uh, we'll go with that. I want different hair, though. There we go. That works. Hair color. We'll just go with the classic brown. Eyebrows. Regular. Eyebrow color, that's fine. Eyes, eye shape. Ha ha! That'll work. Eye size. I'm, my name is Noodles Tabris. I just want to throw that out there. Alright, uh, I don't think I'm going to adjust too much. Too much for them. Yeah, it makes it too, uh, too moist. Portrait. Should we, should we just, like... See if we can get full cleavage going on? Of course, background's gotta be purple. <laughs> this is so stupid. Why am I doing this? I'm gonna have to look at this for now on. Ah, oh, perfect. Oh, yeah. That's the stuff. Oh, and we get some clear. Uh, that's a winner right there. <laughs> We're going with that. All right. Uh, what's this sound like? I have lost concentration. I'm sorry to hear that. How do you do? Why did your mouth get? Greetings. Okay, we might have to adjust the mouth. 
I just realized just how thick your mouth is. Like, holy monkey butts. All right, bring it down a little bit. You got a, a nice little little smile there. All right. Greetings. Well, that didn't work. I need some other attack. <laughs> I need some other attack. <laughs> Greetings. Why is your mouth so wide again? I cannot cast it. I cannot cast it. This weapon does nothing. <laughs> I must get by. <laughs> Fare you well. <laughs> Charm. Oh my god, what happens to your mouth? It didn't work. Oh bother, I need something new. Move aside, please. Move aside, please. Farewell. <laughs> uh, that turned me off from it there to some. Oh my god. Your mouth is crazy with growing and shrinking. Ugh, my spell. Yeah, my spell. Oh, what does it take to kill these things? <laughs> uh, I was... Greetings. Well, that didn't work. Her head shape is an upside down egg. Is it? It kind of is, isn't it? <laughs> I need some other attack. I need some Move other attack. Till we meet again. How do you do? Oh. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Where's my head? <laughs> In your helmet. I <laughs> that was gonna go down. Off I go. Greetings. Uh, Bev, stop with your mouth growing. I have lost the spell. No, have you? I must try another tactic. I need by, please. Till we meet again. We're gonna go How with a little do? bit. Oh, jeez. Can I? Can I adjust her? Jaw and cheek, neck and ears. Can we? Can we give like some? Oh, jeez. Here, ah, uh, yeah, perfect. Uh, there you go. All right, Badger, have fun getting off in the paint. Oh, oh, look at this. <laughs> oh, hold on. This is what you wanted, right, Mommy? <laughs> oh, God. What have I done? I'm not keeping this, because I gotta look at this from now on. It, there's no way. Okay, hold on. I know these were in the middle. There we go. That like right there. No, that's fine. That's fine. I kind of want to bring this in. And bring that in a little bit. There we go. That looks kind of... Oh, we got to bring the cheekbone height down. Or is it... Is it this? Yeah, there we go. That's looking a bit more normal. It it's it's not looking normal. You saw someone outside a gas station that looked like that once? That's terrifying. That's kind of normal-ish. That's not too bad. Oh, you know what? I wonder. Can we change... No. Alright, we'll, we'll go with the blue. 
I was going to say, if we can have, like, purple eyes, I'd be all for it. All right. I think... I think we're ready. Oh, yeah. I forgot about this. Ah, crap. All right. Um, we're what? We're rogues? Um, we're going to want some dexterity. Uh, what's willpower do? Uh, for warriors and rogues, we'll grant stamina, combats, techniques, and special. Uh, we'll probably want some cunning, and then we'll get a HP upgrade. Uh, let's see, what do we got? Combat tactics, gain access to second tier weapons and talents, as well as bonus stamina regenerations. Take more damage from the attack before it interrupts our spell casting. Alright, we'll go with that. Dirty fighting below the belt. Deft hands. What is deft hands? All rogues have some understanding of opening locks and spawning traps, but with the character a bonus when pick po picking locks or disarming traps. And go with that. Uh, are we gonna be a ranger or like a dual weapon kind of rogue? Because that'll depend on, or that'll decide what I give here. Oh my god. Let Renzo pick. Renzo! Oh. Duel? Alright. Uh, sweep, dual striking. With two weapons, now deals closer to normal damage. Bonus with the offhand weapon. That's not too bad. Uh, the character strikes with both weapons simultaneously. No, not really. Uh, we'll go with the dual sweep. We're just going to keep it casual. I I want to play through, especially because like I already got all the achievements. I want to play through and get enveloped in the story uh, more than I want to like try to play a difficult. So we're just going to go with casual. Denerim, the largest city and capital of Ferelden. Long ago, the elves lived as slaves to humans. And though they've been free for many generations now, they are far from equals. Here they live in a walled-off community known as the Alienage, working as servants and laborers when they can. Despite these hardships, Denerim's elves are a strong people who take pride in their close community. This is the only world you've ever known. Until now. Wake up, cousin. Why are you still in bed? It's your big day. Uh, just a little longer. Oh, did I oversleep? Uh, huh. What are you eating? My what is with... Y'all see the random hair just kind of like super long on my character? It's like I, I have like an extra hair. It... It's right next to, like, the sub goal and stuff. It's just, like, <laughs> twice as long as the rest. What is happening? Ah, Shadi, why are you in my room? I begged your father to let me share the good news. Oh? You do remember what today is, don't you? Uh... <laughs> do we want to be a nice person or a mean person? She cuts her own hair and she missed the spot. That's fair. Uh, I'll let chat decide if we're nice or mean. Mean? So we're going to be a mean rogue elf. All right. It's going to be an interesting time. No, you idiot. You're getting <laughs> married today. Wow. And Soros too. That's what I came to tell you. Your groom, Nelaroth. He's here early. Uh, really? That's great. The sooner the better. Like this arranged match business. Uh, <laughs> I guess I don't have a choice. <laughs> That's the spirit. Well, 
sort of. All right, I'll stop tormenting you. I should go talk to the other bridesmaids and find my dress. Oh, Soros said that he'll be waiting for you outside. So move it. Well, that random long hair is gone, so that's cool. Ah, saving! A day for cele celebration. Alienage culture. I shall take all of that. Uh, Syrian... You know, I asked why you were in my room, but it's not really much of a room. I gotta be honest with you. Like, th this is not really a room. Um, we're gonna go... Uh, boink. No, I get, oh, oh, no, I'm good. We're gonna go there because up there is the health bars and we got the map and then my skills. So I gotta remember how. Okay. It's all coming back to me. Syrian, I'm not gonna talk to you. Ah, my little girl. No, okay. That's it's weird. The last day I'll be able to call you that. Oh, I wish your mother could have been here. You shouldn't have stabbed her. Uh, <laughs> why today? I'm sure they sent your betrothed early for good reason. The elder took it in stride, please. Maybe trouble was brewing at the high ever alienage, or the family didn't want your betrothed traveling later in the season. Whatever the reason, I paid the dowry, the chantry issued the permit, and everything worked out fine. Uh, you paid a dowry for my groom? There's a lot to arranging marriages. Probably the biggest factor is deciding which spouse travels to which alienage. One side gets new blood and a new face, and the other side loses a family member. The dowry helps to even things out. Yeah, sure. Should have saved Just yourself the money. Just be glad I chose the match. Without parents to represent you, children like your cousin Soros end up marrying... Whoever the elder can find. <sighs> Instead, I have to marry who you say. What other prospects Great. are there here? Do you want to marry someone 15 years your senior? I thought not. I All mean... right, time for you to go find Soros. The sooner this wedding starts, the less chance you two have to escape. Uh, small chance is still a chance. <laughs> still have your mother's smart mouth, I see. Oh, one last thing before you go, my dear. Your martial training, the sword play, knives, and whatever else your mother trains you in, best not to mention it to your betrothed. Well, uh, he'll find out later. sooner or later. <laughs> Definitely later. We don't want to seem like troublemakers after all. Adaya made that mistake. <laughs> and she adaya'd for it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I, I made that joke and I found it way too funny. Uh, humans who killed her made a bigger one. Our world is full of so many injustices. Take this. Your mother would have wanted you to have it. It's the very least I can give you as you start your new life. Go on then, I still have some things to do and Soros is no doubt waiting for you. Hmm? No, thanks dad, what'd you give me? You're not even going to tell me what you gave me? Nope. I got to remember. Ah, there it is. I ain't got no weapons. Oh, he gave me my boots. Wow. Uh, that's kind of anticlimactic. I mean, I guess we'll go with that. Move that to junk. We can just go naked. <laughs> Could you imagine... You have an arranged marriage with someone and, like, everything is set up to where, like, you have to be this perfect little bride and whatever. And, and you just go flat out naked. Like, you just walk up to them. Everything out to the people, like, sup. Like, that's how they see you first. That'd be a power move. Should we do it? Because I believe as soon as we walk out the door, we go and see our... Betrothed. And I say naked, but it's it's in whatever. Oh look, I broke a texture. It's in underwear, so God, this is so sad. You at least get like a 
a blanket or a curtain. Do it. All right. Fire move it is. Once I remember it, there it is. Oh, we got to keep the boots. Oh, future husband. Saving content. You're stuck in this now. It wasn't that. All right, well, we'll just run around like this for now. The place is locked up. Can I come out? All right. Alien tree. Whenever I'm ready, you'll see the mother. The mother is all yours up. Elf man, elf woman. Seems more naked. Hey, Soros. How well, you doing? It isn't my lucky cousin. <laughs> Care to celebrate the end of our independence together? Uh, is running Are away still insane? an option? Where would you go? Into the woods to live with the Dalish elves? Probably. Live in the forest with the savages far from humans? Sounds like a dream. <laughs> yeah. Not that we'd know where to find them. Besides, why would you run? Apparently, your groom's a dream come true. My bride sounds like a dying mouse. I love dying mice. <laughs> Maybe you'll get a cage for a wedding. <laughs> That's <presents>. terrible. <laughs> Let's go introduce you to your dreamy betrothed before you say I do. Die. Here we go. A dying mouse? I mean, yeah, why not? Mice only live like 21 days or something like that. I don't see the rug. It's a party, isn't it? Grab a whore and have a good time. <laughs> That's Save not how people hunt, boys. laugh. Take this little elven wench here. So young and vulnerable. Touch me and I'll gut you, you pig. Ooh. Please, my lord. We're celebrating weddings here. Silence, worm. I know what you're thinking, but maybe we shouldn't get involved. Objection noted. Now get out of my way. But let's try to be diplomatic, shall we? What's As... this? Another lovely one come to keep me company. Ah, have you found that I am uh near naked? And he's like, ooh, <laughs> kill that dude first. Uh, human scum, you'll regret what you've done. Do here. you have any idea who I am? A dick, a dill holes, uh. Somebody not worth anybody's time. <laughs> Get wrecked. Are you insane? This is Barn Orion, the Isle of Denerim's son. What? Oh, man. Blocks the dialogue. Oh. Uh, we can go to the other side. Whoop. Where did it go? Excuse me. Bring my game back, please. Is it? Hello? It disappeared. Uh, okay, we can always go boink boink. Like that. That'll work. You broke it? Nah, it breaks itself. Uh, maybe his father should have bought it. a lot of nerve, knife ears. This hey. go badly for you. Probably. Oh, I really messed up this time. It'll be all right. He won't tell anyone an elven woman took him down. I, <laughs> I hope so. I should get cleaned up. Is everybody else all right? I think we're just shaken. What was that about? <laughs> Looks like the Arl's son started drinking too early. Um, <clears throat> well, let's not let this ruin the day. Uh, uh, this is Valora, my betrothed. Uh... <laughs> and who's the fellow with her? Not mine, I hope. <laughs> I, I can't believe you sometimes. Yes, this is Nellaros, your betrothed. Do I really make such a poor first impression? Uh, well, the second one's not much better. Uh, I'm just not Are interested in all of this. Don't want to marry me. <laughs> oh, wow. Holy shit. How mean do we want to be? Holy. Ah. Uh, 
Oh my god. You're ugly and slow? Wow. Don't make the boy cry. Should we should we start being nice? Cause like this this is the B option. I don't want to get married at all. I mean, that's the neutral. I'll, I'll I take the well, neutral. I hope in time you can learn to... Come on, cousin. We should let them get ready. We'll see you two in a bit. Don't disappear on us. <laughs> I'm It'll about to. You'll see. <laughs> Thanks. Don't look now, but we have another problem. He said don't look now. <laughs> Other than telling... Let's make her not mean and less called for. All right, so we'll be nice until someone's an ass. Gotcha. Nice job on that, by the way. But this is serious. Another human just walked in. Could be one of Vaughn's or just a random troublemaker. Either way, we need to move him along before someone does something stupid. Okay. Let's do this quickly. I'm going to stay naked because this guy is actually important and it's actually gonna be mostly hilarious good day i understand congratulations are in <laughs> i got a dump truck holy life. crap <laughs> let's talk about your impending beating do you have a business I here i believe however that i may have already found what i was seeking <laughs> is it my chesticles That is my business. <laughs> it's my chesticles. And you'll be leaving I'm sorry, soon? but I have no intention of leaving. Uh, lady, don't worry about where you're walking. We're totally not... Lady, what are you doing? We're having a conversation. Can you go around? Like, holy crap. She keeps her composure even when facing down an unknown and armed human. A true gift, wouldn't you say, Valentian? I would say the world has far more use of those who know how to stay their blades. It is good to see you again, my old friend. It has been far too long. Um, I had no idea. I was idea. hardly forthcoming, and for that I apologize. May I present Duncan, head of the Grey Wardens in Ferelden. <laughs> and why should I care? Uh, why would a Grey Warden come here? The worst here? has happened. A blight has begun. King Kaelin summons the Grey Wardens to Ostagar to fight the Darkspawn Horde alongside his armies. Yes, I had heard the news. Still, this is an awkward time. There is to be a wedding, too, in fact. So I see. By all means, attend to your ceremonies. My concerns can wait for now. Very well. Children, treat Duncan as my guest. And for the maker's sake, take your places. Okay, I'll Please put clothes on. Let me interrupt further. We shall speak more later. Fine, I'll put clothes on, Duncan. It was still a power move to meet such an important character. Oh, God, what is happening to me? Demons are being expelled. He's a very important character, so, you know, just power moved on him. Just like a casual, look at my chesticles. I want to make sure that... <laughs> that's like Alms. Alms for a man who can no longer work. Show a bit of charity this day. I, oh, you want me to show charity? Hold on, I got you. I showed charity. That's all you get. I'm due to be married. <laughs> Bone daddy. <laughs> I'm just looking around making sure there's nothing else that we can interact with for the lore. Alarith store. Uh, I guess we could read the lore. Uh, Alright, I'll ask. Do you guys want me to like read the lore and stuff like that? or Or no? Because there's some stuff that is very, very long. But it it is really kind of nice. Because, like, we got the city elves, alienage, say sure, why not? All right. 
Uh, we'll start off with the Chant of Light, the Blight. Uh, no matter their power, their triumphs, the mage lords of Tevinter were men and doomed to die. Then a voice whispered within their hearts, Shall you surrender your power to time like the beasts of the fields? You are the lords of the earth. Go forth and claim the empty throne of go heaven and be gods. In secret, they worked magic upon magic, all their power and all their vanity. They turned against the veil until at last it gave way. Above them, a river of light. Before them, the throne of heaven waiting. Beneath their feet, the footprints of the maker and all around them echoed a vast silence. But when they took a single step toward the empty throne, a great voice cried out, shaking the very foundations of heaven and earth. And so is the golden city blackened with each step you take in my hall. Marvel at perfection, for it is fleeting. You have brought sin to heaven and doom upon all of the world. Violently were they cast down, for no mortal may walk bodily in the realm of dreams, bearing the marks of their crime. Bodies so maimed and distorted that none could see them and now them for, and know them for men. Deep into the earth they fled, away from the light. In darkness eternal they searched for those who had goaded them on, until at last they found their prize, their god, their betrayer, the sleeping dragon Dumat, their taint. Twisted even the false god in the whisperer, Awoke at last in pain and horror and led them to wreak havoc upon all the nations of the world, the first blight. So essentially what this is saying is kind of what they explained at the beginning with the opening sequence. Uh, mages tried to take over heaven and they failed. Heaven became corrupted by their taints. Uh, and then they went down into the earth, found a very, very old god. It was a dragon called Dumat, and they ended up twisting the dragon's intentions and made made the dragon even worse till the point that it became the first arc demon, which is what they'll call it here in the future, and so forth. The first blight, which was literally a blight on the land where. They tried their hardest to infect the land and turn it into eventual eternal darkness. Um, all right, city elves. Is this uh, okay? Yeah. So it does have some difference. All right. Uh, we'll go with the dark spawn first because that's what they became whenever they did it. Be uh, those who had sought to claim heaven by violence destroyed it. What was? Golden and pure turned black. Those who had been mage lords, the blight, blight, <laughs> the brightest of their age, were no longer men but monsters. Sin was the mend wife that ushered the Darksmon into the world. The managers fell upon the golden city, and their fate encompassed all the worlds. Uh, for they were not alone. No one knew knows where the Darkspawn come from. A dark mockery of men in their darkest places. They thrive, growing in numbers as the plague of locusts will in raids. Uh, they will often take captives, dragging their victims alive into the deep roads. But most evidence suggests that these are eaten. Carn cannibals, carnivores, whatever. Um, like spiders, it seems dark spawn prefer their food still breathing. Perhaps they are simply spawned by the darkness. Certainly, we know that evil has no trouble perpetuating itself. Last Blight was in the Age of Towers, striking once again at the heart of Tevinter, spreading south into Orle and east into the free marches. The plague spread as far as Ferelden, but the withering and twisting of the land stopped well beyond our borders. Here, Darkspawn have never been more than stuff of legends. The Northlands, however, particularly to Vinter and Andervelves, they say Darkspawn haunt the hinder hinterlands, preying on outlying farmers and isolated villages, a constant threat. The blah blah right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. First blight had already raged for ninety years. That's a long ass time. Holy shit! I didn't realize it was ninety years. Uh, the world was in chaos. A god had risen, twisted, and corrupted. The remaining gods of Defender were silent and withdrawn. Uh, what writing we still have recovered from those times is filled with despair for everyone believed that the greatest archons to the lowliest slaves that the world was coming to an end. So yeah, the twisted and corrupted god that was the arc dragon, ar the arc demon, uh, Demont. The dragon that they twisted and corrupted. Um, alright. At Weishaupt, 
fortress in the desolate Anderfels, a meeting transpired. Soldiers of the Imperium, seasoned veterans who had known nothing their entire lifetimes except hopeless war, came together. When they left Weishaupt, they had renounced their oaths to the Imperium. They were soldiers no longer. They were the Grey Wardens. The Wardens began an aggressive campaign against the Blight, striking back against the Darkspawn, reclaiming lands given up for loss. The Blight was far from over, but their victories brought notice, and soon they received aid from every nation in Thetis. They... Whoop. They grew in numbers as well as reputation. Finally, in the year 992 of the Defender Imperium, upon the Silent Plains, they met the Archdemon Dumont in battle. Yeah, there you go. It's first called the Archdemon. Um, a third of all the ar armies of Northern Thetis were lost to the fighting, but Dumont fell and the Darkspawn fled back underground. Even that was not the end. The Imperium once revered seven gods, Dumont, Zazakel, Toth, Andoral, Razakel, Lusakan, and Urthamiel. Four have risen as dark arc demons. The Grey Wardens have kept watch through the ages, well aware that peace is fleeting and that their war continues until the last of the dragon gods is gone. So, essentially, what this is saying is there have been four blights in this universe, and there can be seven total. <laughs> that that's i mean hey if he wants to mix your paint you know uh but yeah so there's been four blights so four gods or dragons have become arc demons and duncan just got done telling us yes we're trying to stop the blights and duncan just told us that another blight is upon us which uh is essentially saying that the fifth of the dragon demons has come to fruition uh it, it's it's been corrupted and now leading another blight uh all right we'll go with the city elves humans tell tales of andrasse and to them she was a prophet to her people however she was an inspiration her rebellion against the winter gave her people a window through which to see the sun and we reached toward it with all our strength the rebellion was brief but successful even after the death of the prophetess. Uh, we fought on for independence as the human imperium began to crumble. In the end, we won freedom in the southern lands known as the Dales, and we began the long walk to our new homeland. There in the Dales, our people revived the lost lore as best we could. We called the first city Halam Shirul end of the journey and founded a new nation isolated as elves were meant to be this time patrolled by an order of emerald knights charged with the with watching the borders for trouble from humans but you already know that something went wrong a small elven raiding party attacked the nearby human village of red crossing an act of anger that prompted the chantry to retaliate in their with their superior members conquer the dales we were not enslaved as we had been before but our worship of the ancient gods was now forbidden we were allowed to live among the humans only as second-class citizens who worshipped their maker, forgetting once more the scraps of lore we had maintained through the centuries. Uh, essentially, at that, uh, what this is saying is the, delves, the elves were slaves, they rebelled, they fought back against the people who were enslaving them, and they had made a small little city for themselves, and supposedly a hunting party attacked a human settlement, and that garnered retaliation, making it so that the humans then took over the Dales. And instead of enslaving the elves this time, they said, hey, you can be quote unquote free, but you're not allowed to worship this god. You're not allowed to do anything weird or wonky. You have to abide by our laws, our rules, but you're free. So... That's pretty much what that is saying. Uh, there have always been alienage. They've been around for as long as elves and shems have lived in the same lands. Our, ours isn't even the worst. They say that Val Royale, Val Royu, has 10,000 elves living in a space no bigger than Denerim's market. Their walls are supposedly, supposedly so high that daylight doesn't even reach the Vandal until midday. But don't be so anxious to, to start tearing down the walls and picking fights with the guards. They keep out more than they keep in. We don't have to live here, you know. Sometimes a family gets a good break and they buy a house in the docks or the outskirts of town. If they're lucky, they come back to the alienage after the looters have burned their house down. 
The unlucky ones just go to the pauper's fields. Here we're among family. We look out for each other. Here we do what we can to remember the old ways. The flat ears who have gone out there, they're stuck. They'll never be human and they've gone and thrown away being elven. So where does that leave them? Nowhere. That's a lot of elves. It is a lot of elves. Essentially what this is saying is there are some people, some elves, who they want to try to fit in as humans. So they actually trim the top of their ears to try to make it so that it is more human in nature. But it doesn't work usually. And it ends with them kind of being cast out from the elvish culture. And they're also not accepted in human culture. So you're you're pretty much like screwed at that point. Um Humans are kind of whack. I don't know why they would want that. Well, if you think about it, you've either been a slave or a servant barely paid for your work and kind of taken advantage of for your entire life. You want to try to become a part of a civilization, a group of people who is not being constantly like beaten as like desperate times call for desperate measures essentially i took a road down from valryu uh, toward navara uh, with a merchant caravan and scant two days past the orlesian border we were beset by bandits they struck without warning from the co cover of the trees hammering our riot weapons with arrows killing most of the caravan guards instantly the few who survived the arrow storm drew their blades and charged into the trees after our attackers we heard screams muffled by the forest and then nothing more of those men. After a long silence, the bandits appeared. Elves covered in tattoos and dressed in hides. They looted all of the supplies and valuables they could, carrying from the merchants, and disappeared into the trees. These, I was informed later, were the Dalish, the wild elves who lurk in the wilderness on the fringes of settled lands, preying upon travelers and isolated farmers. These wild elves have reverted to the worship of their false gods and are rumored to practice their own form of magic, rejecting all human society. Essentially saying the elves that don't live in the alienages in the city are just savages looking to trying and hurt the humans at any point and raid and plunder everything that's pretty much what that is verndal the tree of the people mostly the old ways are gone each generation forgets a little more of the old tongue a little more of the traditions and a few things we keep become simple habits that the meaning long since faded it is with verndal the tree of the people every alienage has one i'm told or they used to when i was a little girl my mother told me the tree was a symbol of Arlathan, but not even she knew more. Keeping the Vandal is just a habit now. Many cities have their ha the many cities have let theirs wither and die, then chop them up for firewood. No great loss. Why do they say false gods? Same way that uh in like our society, you have people who are like really really religious, right? And so they're like, oh, well. Jesus is the one God and every other God is a false God. It's kind of like that in here. And I'm not saying that I, I'm just using that as an, an example. Um, or, or like people will say Allah is the true God and Jesus and the Christian God are fake or whatever. Um, they have the gods of the Chantry, the maker and the elves used to worship other gods and now they're saying that anything but the maker from the chantry is a false god oh husband oh Soros, there you are i was afraid you'd run off no i'm here with nella ross's blushing bride in tow hmm. reluctantly no doubt yep Alendrian and Mother Boan are here. Time to face the music. <laughs> At my signal, we run. All right, if I must. That's the spirit. Friends and family, today we celebrate not only this joining, but also our bonds of kin and kind. We are a free people. But that was not always so. Andraste, the maker's prophet, freed us from the bonds of slavery. As our community grows, Remember, 
that our strength lies in commitment to tradition and to each other. Thank you, Valandrian. Now let us begin. In the name of the Maker who brought us this world, and in whose name we say the chant of light, I... My lord, this is a an unexpected surprise. Sorry to interrupt, Mother, but uh, <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm having a party. And uh, we're dreadfully short of female guests. <laughs> oh, good. I'll come join you. Me Let me grab my knife. This is a wedding. <laughs> if you want to dress up your pets and have tea parties, that's your business. But don't pretend this is a proper wedding. Now, we're here for a good time, aren't we, boys? <laughs> Just a good time with the ladies. That's all. Oh, great. <laughs> Want to play checkers? Let's take those two, the uh, one in the tight dress, and where's the bitch that bottled me? Right here. Over here, Lord Vaughn. Oh. Let me go, you stuck shirt, son of a... Oh, I'll enjoy taming her. And see the pretty bride. Don't worry, I won't let them take you. Uh, I can handle myself. Ah, oh, yeah. Such a well-formed little thing. Glad you noticed. You villain! Oh, that's quite enough. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm sure we all want to avoid further um, unpleasantness. Uh, take me, but let that the others go. That wouldn't be much of a party now, would it? Oh, we're going to have some fun. <laughs> oh, my face! I need that for... Growling at my quote unquote husband. May her keep us. May her protect us. May her keep us. May her protect us. Stop it. You're driving me insane. Oh, thank the maker you've come to. It was, was only so a worried. slap. Like, what the hell did you think was going to happen? Alright, that human dies. Glad you've still got some fight in you. They locked us in here to wait until that. Bastard is ready for us. She said a naughty word. Uh, we'll kill the few we're, first we're human. five unarmed women. What makes you think we can kill anyone? <laughs> that that long us hair is back. <laughs> I didn't even Protect notice. Us. Great. No, this again. So this is mostly new to me. I did not use uh a female whenever i did this um city elf playthrough i used a male and you actually go at the like later in the evening to try to save them i've never been taken before can i are you daft don't think so not happening don't think so are you daft Not happening. Don't think so. Are you daft? Nope. <laughs> Are you daft? <laughs> I am new to being taken. Look, we'll do what they want. Go home and try to forget this ever happened. She's right. It'll be worse if we resist. It'll be worse if we don't. Someone's coming. Don't do anything until I say. Hello, wenches. Wear your escorts to Lord Vaughan's little party. Ooh. Stay away from us! Oh, okay. You killed her! I suppose that's what happens when you try teaching whores some respect. Now, you grab the little flower cowering in the corner. Horace and I'll take the homely bride and the drunk. You two, find the last one. She's the scrapper. Don't worry. We'll be perfect gentlemen. Now you heard the captain. Be a good little wench or you'll end up like your friend there. Uh, yes, come closer. I'll behave honest. That's a good girl. Uh, hello? Oh, look at this. A little elfling with a stolen sword. Sod. <laughs> no, I completely missed my ability. Where did I get the second sword? What the hell? <laughs> I 
can't believe they killed her. Are you all right? They, they, they didn't hurt you, did they? Uh, the that others need us. Duncan gave Nellaros and me a sword and crossbow, but that's all we have. We'll grab their Nellaros weapons as we go. Nellaros is the end of the hall. Let's figure this out with him. We should hurry before... Uh, Something we'll take all of that. And we'll take all of that, because I'm a looter. Not happening. Are you daft? We should hurry before... Are you daft? Liquor cabinet! Ooh, I unlocked it. <laughs> Get shit on! Money! Rats poison. What's this? I don't recognize you, elf. Wait, is that blood? Yeah. Your bandits, rebels, outlaws. The guards will make quick work of you. Oh! <laughs> You've no idea how long that Shem's had it coming. Uh, I'm Noodles! I'm Adlin, the cook's assistant. You're one of the girls they brought in, aren't you? They took the others to Lord Vaughn's room. You should hurry. He's not gentle with women. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm getting out of here before the storm hits. Okay, bye! Oh. Where did you get a weapon, elf? From your mother. You better talk quick, scum. <laughs> Get back to your game Even and maybe you'll live. You maggots are gonna die slowly. Oh, good. I love dying slowly. Oh, right. Going. I need to be brave. Come on. And you're dead. I'll take that. Thank you. Can I have this? Ah, thank you. Ah, you know what? I'll take that too. Thanks. I can level up. All right, let's see. Um, physical prowess directly affects damage a character does in physical combat. It also contributes to the accuracy of melee attacks. High strength is essential for warriors in particular, and if they wish to wield two-handed weapons, and nearly as critical for rogues. Uh, sounds pretty good. Higher dexterity improves a character's chance to hit, making Makes the character more likely to dodge incoming blows. Uh, we'll do that. Um, let's see. Combat tactic slot. Poison making. Herbalism. I'd probably never use. Survival. Nature resistances, trap making, I probably wouldn't use. Hey, we'll do some stealing. Why not? Uh, we got dirty fighting. Uh, I do want dual weapon training, I think. Yeah, they, they definitely did not want to live in game. You know, zero out of ten gamers right there. <laughs> I love how the blood or the bodies become a pile of blood and bones. You ran into Jim Dude at Walmart? Oof. Wine rack! Blank value! Huh. Let's wipe them out quickly. <laughs> how amusing! And I'm off. And you're dead now. Anything over here? I'm going to be doing an excessive amount of exploring, by the way. I'm going to attempt to look and see everything possible. It's a guard! Haha, huh. oh. <laughs> you got stabbed in the face. Not Boink! Bad. Not bad at all. Great sword, weapon, I'll take that, thank you. Short bow, crossbow, armor, we'll probably actually put the armor on now. Do -do 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 -do. Uh, all right, let's see. Leather helm, leather gloves, leather boots, leather armor. Because that's all I can wear. There is a way to... Hold on. Uh, how did I... There's a way to toggle helmet on or off. I like the helmet off because... The, with the helmets, it just looks so weird. 
Um, how did I do this? Inspect. Nope. God damn it. No. There was a way to do it. I don't remember how, though. So tactics, assign, assign. Mark is active. Are these feathers? No. I'll put that into the garbage and put those into the garbage. I don't have any of those. Um, nope. Uh, same damage. All right, so we can, whoopsie, put those in there. Uh, we'll actually put the short bow on over there. I don't have arrows yet, but it'll be good to, God damn it, good to have. Um, oh, I had two short bows apparently. I'm probably not going to use a crossbow. We'll keep these because we'll, we'll need more in the future. We, I wouldn't be a gamer if I didn't explore. That's fair. <coughs> Horrible part of a small town is I swear you see everyone you don't want to. Yeah, yeah, that sounds about right. Oh, see, no. I told you there'd be more. Elves run in packs like rodents. She I'll give you a rodent. Be a bitch alive. They killed our boys. She dies. You killed Nella Rose. He squealed like a stuck pig when he died. <laughs> Let's see if you do too. Time for more practice. <laughs> yes, this is indeed practice. Did you just Hello. see me absolutely demolish that guy? Hold up! Uh, uh, I just took a wedding ring off of a dead body. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm not. He died. We're alive. Let's yes, keep moving. Of course, we should hurry before something happens to the others. Yes, we should. Instead of you sitting there crying about a dead person that I didn't care about and didn't want to marry, I got more stuff. Whoop whoop. It's a wedding ring. It does nothing. We're going to put that away. Uh, plus four attack. I'll wear it. A done and a done. Now, let's see. Which one first? Oh, this is going to hurt. Because there's dogs. Let's do this quickly, shall we? Oh, dogs didn't get alerted. Hello. Oh my god, I just yes. demolished that dude's face. Unless I use a mod. Oh, that sucks. Ugh. Something sounds gooshy in here. Footlocker! Oh, for... <laughs> it's done naturally. Hello! Hey, did you want to go like that? I love the fact that I can sometimes one shot these guys. <laughs> Let's do this quickly! A frost rock. Wow. And done. Done and done. That room has the dogs. That room's probably the hardest Move room. It. Private oh. documents. Books. Nope, that's that's quests. I don't want that. Codex. Alright. Froden, as we think of it now, did not exist before the Exalted Age. Instead, the valley was divided up into dozens of old Alamari clans. They warred constantly with one another over lands, honored the allegiance of the freeholders, and on one notable occasion, the name given to a favorite Mabari, which is a dog. Uh, and then, in the 33rd year of the Exalted Age, Kalanhad Theron became Terran of Denerim, and everything changed. Most of what we know about the founding of our nation comes from old songs that the bards passed down through the ages. The songs are filled with wild ex exaggerations and outright lies, but this hardly differs from the scholarly papers of some of the contemporaries. There's no agreement among poets or scholars on how he did it, but Callan had gained the support of the Circle of Magi, and they crafted for him a suit of silvery white armor that, by all accounts, repelled both arrow and blade. 
Callan had, had led his army across the valley and captured Redcliffe, one of only three men who ever successfully laid siege to the fortress, and presented himself to the bands of the Landsmeet as their king. The poet tells that the that every lord knelt before Callan had without question. The fact that he attended the Landsmeet surrounded by ash warriors and loyal mages of the circle of the mages of the circle is generally omitted from the ballads, however. From Callanhead came the line of the Theron kings and queens who reign uninterrupted until the 44th year of the Blessed Age. When the Orlesian invasion came, the rightful king was forced to flee Denerim, and for 70 years a puppet sat upon the throne. Combat basics, fatigue, locked items, that's fine. So yeah, uh, essentially saying a line of kings and it was broken by a war. Uh, the commandments of the Maker. These truths the Maker has revealed to me as there is but uh, but one world, one life, one death, and there is but one God, and he is our Maker. They are sinners who have given their love to false gods. Magic exists to serve man and never to rule over him. Foul and corrupt are they who have given who have taken his gift and turned it against his children. They shall be named Maleficar, accursed ones. They shall find no rest in this world or beyond. All men are the work of our maker's hands, from the lowest slaves to the highest kings, those who bring harm without prov provocation to the least of his ma children, are hated and accursed by the maker. Those who bear false witness and work to deceive others know this. There is but one truth. You don't see nobody? Cortland! How you doing, man? Good to see you. Hydrate, you got it. And uh, we win, and I, I just reading and winning at this point. How you doing, man? Uh, you're alive, and I'm very happy for that. Uh, all things are known to the Maker, and He shall judge their lives. All things in this world are finite. Uh, what one gains, another has lost. Those who steal from their brothers and sisters do harm to their livelihood and to the, their peace of mind. Our maker sees this with a heavy heart. Essentially, unless you follow the commandments of our God, you're a sinner and go to hell. Hello! Oh, I missed the dog, which is admittedly the most important thing to get because these guys are really strong. There we go. Dog trainer. Mabari Crunch. Dog trainer. You beat this game like 17 times when it came out. So I am doing... Uh, I'm going to be doing a full playthrough of all of the Dragon Age games in preparation for uh, Veilguard coming out at the end of October. I let out the dog just to kill it. Chicka! Oh, you want to die? We should hurry before something happens to the others. Yes, we should. Um, it looks pretty good. I I haven't seen too much of it, but they're saying that it's supposed to be a really good successor to um whatever the hell it's called inquisition which i never actually fully played through inquisition so i'm excited to learn how that goes yes. Going. <laughs> did this dude just scream i hate this part <laughs> yes Please announce our presence to everybody by screaming at the top of your lungs that we're murdering people. That's the way to do things. Can I go out here? No. Okay. Uh, I guess the new one is supposed to be more RPG-ish and less... Can I? I don't think so. Not happening. Nope. And less, uh, like, almost turn-based combat. Hey, look! You're stunned! Let's do this quickly, Damn, double thirty twos. Look at me go. I'm so strong. Are you daft? <laughs> Are you daft? Yes, yes I am. Over with. Ooh. Time for more practice. Hello. Huh. Have at you then. Close. 
<laughs> that was close. And you're dead now. Or an HS. Ooh. Goodies. And take that. Thank you very much. Anything on this guy? Nope. On we go. Health poultice. Health poultice. Lesser warmth poultice. Hello. Please continue kneeling to me. I am your almighty savior. <gasps> Mammy! Thank you for the biddies. Take all biddies. Moving on. Moving on up. Alright, shelves, blank vellum, don't need those. History of Ferelden, Chapter 2. Uh, Alright, the occupation was a dark blot on Ferelden's history, or people who, from their immem immemorial valued their freedom over all else, were forced to bow to the Orlesian rule. The em Empire declared our elves property and sold them like cattle. Chevaliers routinely plundered th freeholds of coin, food, and even women and children, and excused it as taxation. And for 70 years, no lands meets were held, for the imperial throne had declared our ancient laws a form of treason. King Brandel, who was one of those who escaped, he tried to organize the land, the other fugitive lords to retake their land, but Brandel was neither clever nor persuasive, the nobles preferred to take their chances alone, for Alden might still be a little more than a territory of the empire, were it not for the fact that his daughter had all the charisma that her royal father lacked. The rebel queen's rule began with a midnight attack on the imperial armory at Lothring. It was... Or Lothering. Lothering. It was swift and successful, and with their pilfered arms, the rebels began a campaign against the Orlesian in earnest. But when the turning point of the war came, when a young fear freeholder joined the Queen's army, the lad Logan Mactier possessed a remarkable talent for strategy and quickly became the favorite advisor of young Prince Merrick. The Queen finally died at the hands of Orlesian sympathizers, anxious to curry favor with their painted masters, and Merrick took her place as the leader of the rebellion. Logan became Merrick's right hand. Merrick and Logan led the rebels in a new campaign against their Orlesian oppressors, culminating in the Battle of the River of Dane, where the last Chevaliers in Denerim were crushed, with the capital once more in the hands of Ferelden's. The battle to free your people was finally over, but the battle to rebuild had uh, what had been lost and only just begun. Essentially saying that a king and a strategist rebelled against the people oh, right. huh. and eventually won. Ow! That's my face! Hey, piece of shit! Get stunned! Oh my god, your head disappeared. I got a deep mushroom. Wink, wonk, wink, wonk. That's our elixir of grounding. My, my. What have we here? Don't worry. We'll make short work of these two. Quiet, you idiot! They're covered with enough blood to fill a tub. What do you think that means? It means your guards right. are dead. Let's not be too hasty here. Surely we can talk this over. Uh. Alright. Do we just go straight for beheading this guy? Or do we let him try to convince us that we shouldn't behead his guy? This guy. Two, you really think you can talk your way out of this? Okay. Please, just get me out of here. I want to go home. Me too. Think for a minute. Kill me and you ruin more lives than just your own. By dawn, the city will run red with elven blood. Think about it. You know how this ends, or we could talk this through, now that you have my undivided attention. Uh, threaten. Alright, so kill him, let him say something, how dare you, or we'll tell the city what really happened, which I'd, I'm gonna be honest, nobody's gonna believe what really happened. We're elves, nobody believes elves in this so are we just like and chop his head off 
or is it uh let's just say what you're gonna say one or three anybody else have a preference mommy is full on like let me just stab this dude in the in the balls I mean, he did end up killing our husband-to-be. And is trying to have... To be fair, he deserves it. Alright, time to die! Get you myself. Now, let's see. Which one... <laughs> there goes your guard. Hey, look! You're stunned! You beheaded the wrong one. He's he's dead. Tell me we did the right thing, cousin. Uh, it's a little late for regrets, I'm there, buddy. Not regretting it. It's just, just never mind. I'll check the back room for the others. Shiani needs you. Does she? Does she really? Cause I'm gonna ignore her while I loot. Do you need me? Do you? Ha <laughs> ha! I'm just gonna step on you! Cha cha! Get shit on. Anything else I can loot? Don't think so. Nothing else. Don't leave me alone. Please, please take me home. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's a pretty good way to say that, mommy. I I prove. Uh, can you walk? I... I think so. Great. You killed them, didn't you? You killed them all? <laughs> like Good. dogs. Good. Uh, uh, is she going to be all right? Um, she'll live. How are you? Rattled. They said they were saving us for later. I can't believe you came for us. Thank you. Uh, we should go. Soon, as in now. Good thought. I'll take the rear guard. I can't wait to leave this place. <laughs> he wants the rear. <laughs> You've returned. Has Shiani been hurt? Where is Tormi's daughter, Nola? Nola didn't make it. She resisted. <laughs> they killed her. Nelaros, too. The guards killed him. I see. Would the rest of you ladies please take Shiani home? <laughs> the bang <laughs> yeah. Of course. Now tell me, what happened? I murdered everything! <laughs> battle! Glorious battle! The Ars family just got a, a bit smaller. Just a bit. Just a bit. bit. I'm going and with that one. The could already <laughs> be on their way. You have little time. Uh, may need to leave then or for a while. Come to this. The guards are here. Don't panic. Let's see what comes of this. Oh. I seek Melendrian, elder and administrator of the alienage. That's me. Here, uh, sorry, him. I take it you have come in response to today's disruption. Don't play ignorant with me, elder. You will not prevent justice from being done. The Earl's son lies dead in a river of blood that runs through the entire palace. I need names, and I need them now. I did it! <laughs> you expect me to believe one woman did all of that? I can do it You're again if you want. all so helpless, Captain. You save many by coming forward. I don't envy your fate, but I applaud your courage. This elf will wait in the dungeon until the Earl returns. The rest of you, back to your houses. Captain, a word, if you please. What is it, Grey Warden? The situation is well under control, as you can see. Be that as it sure. may, I hereby invoke the Grey Warden's right of conscription. I remove this woman into my custody. <laughs> Hear that? You Not can't no. touch me. <laughs> Very well, Grey Warden. I cannot challenge your right, but I'll ask one thing. Get this elf out of the city, 
today. But Agreed. I wanted to go window now I shopping. Need to get my men on the streets before this news breaks. Move out. I wanted to go pick up some you're clothes. With me now. Oh. Say your goodbyes and <laughs> see me when you're ready. We leave immediately. <laughs> I'll be with you, Duncan. All right, speak more to me. I did not do this for your benefit. I needed a Grey Warden, and I found one. That conscripting you saved your life is only circumstance. You did what you had to do to accomplish your mission. We need people like you. I'll Stop give you it. people Say like your me. Your life here is over. I mean, if you insist, I'll go traveling with you, Duncan Daddy. Level up. Uh, all right, we're gonna do a little bit of strength. We'll do dexterity, and we're gonna get some constitution. All right, what's this? Dual weapon finesse. Character is extremely skilled at wielding a weapon in each hand, gaining bonuses to attack and defense. That's pretty good. Uh, character last shot with a flurry of three blows, dealing normal combat damage with each hit. Not bad. Uh, dual striking. When it's built, the character strikes with both weapons simultaneously. Attacks cause more damage, but the character cannot inflict regular critical hits or backstab. Interesting. Stealth. Rogue has learned to fade from view. Although perceptive enemies may not be fooled beyond movement, including engaging combat or using aims, will still attract attention. If the rogue initiates combat while still stealth, the first strike is an automatic critical hit or backstab. Interesting. Below the belt. Delivers swift and unsportsmanlike kick to the target, dealing normal da combat damage as well as imposing penalties to defense and physical movement speed. Let the target passes a physical resistance check. I could punch someone in the nuts or, or kick someone in the nuts. No, yeah, we'll, we'll kick people in the nuts. Uh, all right. Uh, nope. Here it is. Talents. Thought I heard Dragon coming home. I was like, she shouldn't be home now. She works tonight. Uh, we'll go with. That there, and then we'll actually put nope you there. There we go. So we got both of our healings there. That'll work. Oh, non husbands! I have a new husband that I'm going to. His name is Don the Khan. Is there really nothing on Syrian? If this is what the Maker has planned for you, then I guess it's for the best. Your mother would have been pleased. Oh, I'm looking at empty mug there, bitch. You forgot to do that this morning. You're not pleased, Papa? I just Papa? wish there was another way. I dreamed of grandchildren, family gatherings, and... I'm sorry, this isn't helping. Take care, my girl. Be safe and wise. And, well, you know, we'll all miss you. No, you won't. I only brought pain, death, suffering, and sadness to everybody. Home. Hello. There you are. Thank you. For me, for Soros, for everything. Eh. You best be good to Soros. I swear it. Tiani seems to have regained herself. I'll leave you two alone. Good luck. And thank you again. You're welcome for saving your life. Where the hell is Shiani? Well, Shiani. Responsibility for what happened. You're amazing. You know that. Yeah, kind of gets people to drop their pants for me. <laughs> no big deal. Uh, just did what had to be done. How are you holding up? I have to leave soon. I got my reward. I'm leaving this hole. That's what you've always wanted. Good for you. There's something I have to say, though. You're You've in love with me? Been there for me. But what happened was beyond what anyone could ever expect from another person. When the world was at its worst, there you came, fire in your eyes, like something out of a storybook. I'll never forget that. She done loves me. I love you, cousin. <laughs> I told you. Make us proud out there. I love you too, Shawnee. Watch over you. Let's have the sex, cuz. <laughs> That's so weird. <laughs> she wants the nude. She does want the dudes. She wants the nudes so good. People are going to be like, what the hell are you talking about? My, na my character's name is Noodles. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, Daddy Dunk. No, should I talk to Velendrian? Well, oh, I, I guess, guess not. Duncan got his recruit after all. <laughs> Can't say inside no, to leave. I guess you wouldn't be. Young people never appreciate their roots until it's too late. If you'll excuse me, I must tend to our people. Goodbye, young one. And make a keep you. Bye. Are you ready to go? Oh, yes, Daddy. Good. Then we leave for Ostagar immediately.